So Call of Duty is actually doing something that might change the game of Warzone. Like, we haven't seen it in quite a while. They're adding a new freaking map. And I mean, it's been a few months since Caldera came in, but honestly, like, before Caldera came out, we had, what, like, a year and a half, almost two years of the same crap over and over. Well, not even that. It's probably shorter than that because at one point they came out with Rebirth and now they're coming out with Fortune's Keep which to me it's a huge plus some people might disagree what I'm trying to say is I think Rebirth is kind of helping sustain Warzone at least it has for the last little while and I think Fortune Keep is gonna just do that again so let's check out this trailer that Call of Duty put out for the new map it's only about 30 seconds long but we get a pretty good idea I have a pause right here and you can already see that this is kind of like on the coast somewhere because you see the water coming in right there and it seems like there's a lot going on man like rebirth is fun but i feel like this map is going to be a lot more fun especially if you're the type of player that just likes jumping in and out of windows running out of doors while fighting somebody just to like screw with them this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun all right mate and welcome to fortune's king we're taking you through a new map. I mean, like right here. All right, let's go back. Because the first few seconds, you it's just like close-ups of shit, but that we really don't care of about. But this right here, man, look how nice this crap looks. This actually kind of reminds me of Assassin's Creed. Does anybody else get that feeling? But it just looks like there's so much going on, like opportunities everywhere. I don't know, man. I've heard a couple people complaining about it, but it is a little bit bigger than Rebirth. Not by much, just a tiny bit, but man, I'm super excited for this. I'm not, like, Call of, the Call of Duty community loves to complain, and they're already, com well, not all of them, obviously, but there's some people complaining about this map already without even playing it, but I don't know, man. I'm super excited about this. The key. Here's another look. Not really that good of a look like that other one, but it's where the magic happens. Right nice that place. Ooh. Oops. The winery is This is the winery. The winery looks it reminds me of a World War II map. I don't remember what the name of the map was, but this is what it, I kinda get the vibe out of it from. The winery is where I take the edge off. Because bottle service is nothing. This part looks super annoying to be honest. Compared with you. to barrel service. I think that's this is my town. I'm assuming that. Then what's this? This is the clock tower. I think this is the same part of the map we were looking at at the beginning when I had it paused. There's a definitely a lot going on. A lot of roof battles for sure. See a lot of entryways here and there. Man, this is my know. town. The rest of you. There's a hotel which in which hmm, might be a good landing spot. Drop it in. I used to like landing in in prison or in man, what's the little area right below prison? I'm blanking out right now. But those two spots, Smuggler's Cove looks exactly like a spot I will never land. It just seems annoying as hell. You're gonna have immediate low ground Finally, when you get there. Cove. So I don't even know. I look like the grotto. That looks like an entrance to the grotto. Man, Look right here, man. Look at that. Oof. There's a lot on this side of the map we can't see, obviously, but man. That whole area right there. The Fortune's Keep area. Look at all those. Man. I don't know, man. I don't know how people are mad about this. This looks super exciting. There's a tower. There's quite a few towers here. Hmm. Show you around, now get back out there. Here's another look at that area we saw at the beginning. Nope, not here. A little bit back, right there. That. Damn. I don't know. There's. I don't know if the. I don't think the gameplay is going to slow down because there's so many like nooks and crannies to get in. But it looks exciting as hell, man. Next week is going to be super fun. And I'm looking forward to it, making more videos. Especially now that there's some like new content and it's not I gave up on getting the camels in Vanguard. I mean they fixed some things here and there But it's obviously still extremely very broken and I don't even want to get into it, but I guess it is what it is Modern Warfare 2 is I was gonna say around the corner, but not really 
it's a few months away still but definitely gonna be grinding there I don't have as much time as I used to anymore but I'm definitely gonna try and put in a lot of hours into that and make some videos for sure I gotta I gotta start hitting this thing hard man hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching maybe I should breathe next time you know in between sentences